hello guys and welcome to another video today we are going to solve a classic uh, amplifier in this case this is an inverting amplifier by using an operational amplifier okay so we have to try to find in this case we are going to get the gain of the circuit which is B0 divided by BI, okay? So we have to find a way to relate BA to BI, okay? In this case, the best way to relate these two nodes, BI and B out, is by means of this intermediate node, okay? So we are going to work with this node to try to relate uh, both signals. In this case, we are going to name this node 1, okay? And we have to, applying Kirchhoff current law, we have to draw currents in the direction we want. Here, I'm going to draw this current like this I'm going to name it I1 I'm going to draw this current this way I'm going to name it I2 okay and here I have another branch so I'm going to draw this current and I'm going to name it I3 okay so now working with node 1 okay we have that i1 which is an incoming current equals i2 plus i3 so now we know by means of ohm's law that if we have a current flowing through a resistor okay let's name this terminal A this terminal B I know that the current is related to the voltage like this okay because a current flowing this way causes a voltage drop with this polarity so According to this, we can see that I1 causes a voltage drop with this polarity and I2 causes a voltage drop with this polarity, okay? So following this, we are going to write the currents of the equation in terms of voltages. So I1 could be B in, okay, which is the voltage at this node, minus B1, which is the voltage at node 1, divided by R1, okay. I2 would be the voltage at this node, which is B1 minus the voltage at this node which is B0 divided by R2 plus this current that's the co that is the current going into the port of the operational amplifier that by definition equals zero okay so we have three unknowns we have b in we have b zero and we have b one and we have to try to relate b in to b zero so in the case of the operational amplifier i know that by means of the 
virtual short principle or virtual ground the voltage at the positive node of the input port equals the voltage at the negative node okay so here I can see that the voltage at this point at this node is zero which is my reference node and by means of this I get that B plus equals zero as well so by means of this I'm going to complete to solve the previous equation so I have B in minus zero divided by R1 equals B1 which is zero because is B B minus sorry B minus this is B1 so I have zero minus B zero divided by R2 by simplifying I get this so from here if I isolate B0 divided by B in I get that this equals R2 divided I1 this term is called the voltage gain because it relates the output voltage divided by the input voltage and that gain equals R2 divided by I1 what does this sign mean? this means that the output voltage is going to be opposite to the input voltage let's see this means that is my input voltage is like this okay this is my input voltage my output voltage is going to be that absolute value multiplied by R2 divided by R1 but with opposite sign okay so it will be like this okay so B0 equals minus R2 divided by R1 times B in. That is why it is called an inverting amplifier. Look that this is positive here, that this is negative due to this negative uh, sign. Okay? So let's now calculate the input impedance of this circuit. Okay? To do this, we are going to draw the circuit without the input voltage because we want to get the input impedance since from this point to ground. Okay? So let's do it. So we wanted or we want to get the input impedance from this point to ground. Okay? the impedance that is seen by the input source okay so to do this we have to connect a that source here okay which we are going to name as B test okay and I have to get the corresponding current flowing from the test source which is I test okay so Thevenin uh, theorem states that the equivalent Thevenin impedance could be B test divided by I test 
ok so <clears throat> we have B test we have to calculate I test how do we calculate I tests previously we said that the voltage at this node is the same as the voltage in this node due to the virtual short okay so as this node the positive node is at a zero voltage potential this is at the same voltage as well so this test current produces a voltage drop with this polarity okay and as we calculated before we could say the following I test equals the voltage at this point which is B test minus the voltage at this point which is zero due to, due to the virtual short divided by the corresponding resistors resistance which is R1 so we get that the test current equals B test divided by R1 so now if I get this into this equation I get that the feminine input resistance would be B test divided by B test divided by R1 so by solving this I get that the thevenin equivalent input resistance equals R1 so finally we are going to calculate the output uh, impedance the Thevenin output input impedance since uh, from the output terminal okay so by definition the output resistance of an ideal operational amplifier I mean the impedance since from this point to ground of the operation uh, operational amplifier equals zero so anything connected in parallel with that uh, output impedance of the operational amplifier is going to be zero so by means of this we could say that the output the turning output impedance of, of my circuit is zero ohm okay so if you liked it, please thumbs up and subscribe.